a major fail, to be very honest. I need salt. Are you hot? Oh, I got you all. <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to my unused kitchen, sis. It's been a while since I've actually cooked a meal here in my house. I'm talking about a meal, sis. Not about avocado toast. I'm talking about a full-blown out meal. I think it's been, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I've been doing the math and like it just doesn't, it doesn't add up. I don't know if it's because of me. It's been longer than a year since I've actually made a full-blown like, you know, meal for my hubby and my family this video was supposed to be filmed yesterday but i had such a bad anxiety attacks his out of nowhere out of nowhere like is anybody else going through this because i just need to know i don't know if it's because we're like the women are like tied to the to the moon and stuff but like you guys know how the eclipse the eclipse is actually going on today sis can you imagine that i was thinking about it and i'm like wow it's actually kind of crazy that like my video was not supposed to be on the eclipse day it was supposed to be right before the eclipse day but it just it played out like that so yesterday is sunday is sunday i don't even know i've literally been struggling so bad lately that i don't even know what day it is believe it or not so yesterday was sunday april 7th i got up at 7 a.m i was so hyped for this video, it's insane. I worked out, I showered, I danced, I played my music, I was feeling the vibe. By the time that I was supposed to make this video, because I was supposed to make dinner, I was already like getting anxious, like and getting an anxiety attack. I literally broke down mentally, sis, last night to my husband. I literally cried and he didn't really understand what the hell was going on because when I do my videos, I do plan them a lot. I'm a planner. I'm an overthinker and I literally had everything already set and ready to go for yesterday So he didn't really understand where all of this emotion was coming from. So this is the thing, right? Así como me ven, you know, I love to go out and I love to try new things and I love to dress up and I love to Be out of my comfort zone, right? You guys have seen me do the craziest things sis i've painted myself red and gone out i have done my makeup horribly and gone out literally sat down and ate at a restaurant that's who i am and that's what i enjoy to be but yesterday something tripped me out that would have probably never tripped me out before so i was supposed to do this video literally with nobody in the house like today there's literally nobody in the house my husband is asleep upstairs and his mom is in her room asleep as well and they're probably not gonna get up for a while right but yesterday my husband's brother like overheard that i was going to be cooking dinner and stuff and he got excited obviously who wouldn't and he was like oh i'm gonna stay and then him and my little nephew were gonna stay and and then Patty was gonna come over because she had left her purse from the previous night. So basically a lot of people were coming to the house. You see what I'm saying? And bitch, it's not even the fact that I was gonna cook for a lot of people because I've done that before. I don't cook often, but when I cook, I kind of do cook for a lot of people. So that's not even the problem. The problem was that they were all going to be around me while I was filming. It, it was tripping me out. But like, I don't understand it because it's something that doesn't usually happen. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. And I'm sorry for the rant, but oh bitch, but you're my only friend. You know what I'm saying? And like, you're coming Coming to my house and like we're gonna cook together so we gotta cheese me out of way i gotta tell you my issues you gotta go in the comments and give me like a little therapy session you know so that i don't really feel left out or crazy let me know that in the comments what is it anyways so yesterday i broke down even further because i was embarrassed to be on camera in front of people like i'm a youtuber bitch you know what i'm saying like come on like that's who i am after that i decided not to do the video but i was gonna still cook for them and then my husband was like no don't do this to yourself you've been planning this you've been telling me about this damn video for an entire week you know what i'm saying like just hold on do it the next day today i bawled because i thought i was letting people down i'm like damn people are gonna be here expecting food and i'm not gonna cook it what are they gonna think 
Like, oh, does Haley not want me at her house? Does she not want to cook for other people? You see what I'm saying? So I was just a wreck. Today, sis, I'm feeling like, I'm like, ¿Por qué? It seems crazy, sis. It seems insane. Fíjate. Look. <gasps> So this right here, these are my beans. Porque today, I'm supposed to be making enfrijoladas. And these are my childhood favorite meal. I love them. Let me get this out of the way because I'm just spitting on them. <laughs> I love enfrijoladas. And beach. when I tell you, I haven't ate enfrijoladas in years. Years! I put my beans to soak in water because apparently you're supposed to soak beans porque aquí, aquí way, it's all gonna be from scratch, okay? Well, not everything. Like, the tortillas are gonna be from scratch. Chill out! <laughs> Hold on! You know, ya me creo, bitch. <laughs> ya me creo, bitch. Like, this bitch, I haven't cooked this so often long, but when I cook, I'm gonna be using out-the-bag beans. When I saw the tutorial, the lady said, soak the beans for four hours. Bitch, did you see where I get them? <laughs> did you see where I got them from? From the oven, right? I forgot about the beans. The beans have literally all of the water. The water is gone. It's gone. And the beans were actually half. It was half of this container and now the beans are like the entire container. So I don't even know, honestly, if this recipe is going to work or not, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to make it work because I have done a lot of dramatical emotional scenes over this video so this video has to work and i'm also going to make today for dessert a arroz con leche because you guys if you guys know me you guys know that i love arroz con leche right y peach que crees hold on where's my stuff right here okay Okay, all right, all right, okay. Yeah, now hang out, ladies. So this is the famous mame. The famous mame. I think this mame got like 150,000 likes on Instagram. I kept it because, <laughs> because the shit was like, I think $5. <laughs> and I tried to buy another one that was already ripe because I didn't really want to wait for this one to ripen up. And my hubby was like, uh, no, like chill out, okay? <laughs> You have one at home. Let's eat that one first. I listened to someone that saw the video and was like, hey, it's not ripe, newsflash. But if you put it in a little plastic bag and you put it somewhere where it's dark and warm, it will ripen up. Um, it did ripen up, but I do tell you one thing. I think it got kind of moldy and I'm not really sure if, I, if that's okay or not. It smells a tad weird. So we're gonna open this up today and we're gonna see if we can actually try to make una agua fresca de mame. Because in the video, everybody and their mom was like, oh, that's delicious and smoothies and smoothies this and smoothies that. And I'm like, oh snap. Like, should I be eating this as a smoothie? Okay, here it is. I don't know if you guys can see the little booty, but that little booty is like, it's, I, I wanna say it's molded, beach. I'm not really like intelligent like that. It is like fuzzy and white, and it kind of looks like spider webs. I don't know if you guys can see that. And right here too, it's like the same little thing. It got like white, like milky white, and it's, it's like fuzzy almost. So I wanna say that it is mold but it is nice and tender like this is so tender and it does smell kind of sweet but it smells a bit funky almost like a banana that's gone too ripe i'm gonna try to open it up and see if it actually works para un agua fresca let me get my hair out the way i gotta wipe down my counters because i did it yesterday for my video but like you know i didn't do the video yesterday like i just rented about like 30 minutes so i gotta do it now because my cats have been on all of these counters oh beach stop i'm treating myself because i'm also making platanitos fritos let me know down in the comments how do you eat these little plantains so i grew up eating them like fried and then con queso and con crema and like maybe sometimes a little bit of lechuga you know what i'm saying we used to call them platanitos preparados you see what i'm saying but when i told my hubby this he's like uh what like you used to eat them with queso and crema like what <sighs> okay i'm a little nervous because i don't have like an ingredient list i'm winging this once again so i'm just gonna start getting things out of my spice cabinet i'm sorry it's not aesthetically pleasing it's not clean it's not organized 
Thing with chiles right here that are dry. And I know they have been up here since, oh, I got the receipt. Since August 16, 2023. But I think these might still be good, to be honest. Dice que chile ancho. I didn't buy this. This was my suegra. My suegra bought this for her dish. I think she, she cooked something. I don't remember. But I'm going to use it too. Some chile ancho. Pepper. Okay, we're going to get some onion powder. Garlic powder. <gasps> Beach, mira. So this is literally what I was telling you about. I like to literally do crazy stuff where like I'm completely out of my comfort zone. Like I get a kick out of watching other people like taste new food. I don't know what it is, but I'm always like, oh, have you tried this? Have you tried that? I, I like to do things like that. And look what I bought at this little Asian or Korean grocery store. Bitch, these are preserved duck eggs. ¿Ves cómo se ven? Look, they look dark. They look black. And I'm like, I know damn well it don't matter if this is duck eggs, ostrich eggs, chicken eggs. They're not supposed to be black, right? Tengo poultry seasoning. We're definitely going to need that. Because <gasps> Wait, mi pollo. Mi pollo, pendeja. No es cierto. I'm over here fucking like just chismeando contigo. And I forgot my chicken. Am I supposed to thaw chicken out if I'm going to boil it? Because I'm going to boil it and then I'm going to like fry it. I don't know, but I'm not supposed to do this or not. I was supposed to, bro. This was in the fridge yesterday, ready to use. But then I put it in the refrigerator. What's the other one? I put it in the one that makes it hard. Um, freezer. I put it in the freezer. And I'm like, oh, tomorrow morning, as soon as I get up and I come down to feed the cats, I'm going to take this out and let it thaw out. Y aquí está. No, but it's que ustedes también. Let me tell you real quick. You guys just come up in my house. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, what else? Sometimes I piss myself off because the fact that I go to Sprouts and I get seasonings and I have to put it in a little bag and I don't write down what it's for. Like it literally just says 1148. How is that supposed to help me? I think this is Comino way. I want to say que es comino. I'm not really 100% sure, but I want to say que es comino. Y si no es comino, no, no, no. Tiene que ser comino because oregano no es. Is it rosemary? Ay, no sé, wey. It don't look like comino no more. I don't even know, but it's a seasoning, so we might use it. Now, there's also this right here that once again has no type of like indication of what it is. It's just a bag. It says 1166. And, and, and to make matters even worse, it's like, um, it's a little powder. Chile, California molido. Pues no, no creo que necesitemos Chile, California molido. O oh, si, sí, wey. No sé. To be very honest. Like, when I remember my mom cooking this meal, and it usually was like an easier, simple meal to make. Pero pues today, I'm going to make history in my kitchen, okay? We're going to mix. No, no, I probably shouldn't do that. I just got the idea to mix everything and anything that I think is good to make this dish. But then I also thought that maybe somebody or everybody will end up in the bathroom con diarrhea. What do you think? I don't know if people use paprika in Mexican dishes. Comment down below. Let me know the bitches that cook, you know, and the ones that don't take out your notebooks. This is the one that I was hoping to find because I know that this is essential in this dish that I'm making. And these are the chile, no, chile pots. Chile pots is not the name. I don't know. I don't, I, it don't feel right to call these chile pods. Anyways, this is chile de arbol beach. And I know for a fact, this is something that my mom would use on the recipe to give it a little kick, just a tad little kick, you know what I'm saying? And I got all of my ingredients right here, right now. Let's keep going, let's do this. What are we doing? What's the first thing to do? <gasps> Bitch, hurry up. We gotta put the beans and the chicken to boil because that's flat out gonna take maybe like two to three hours. I don't know, maybe it's because we change as we grow up. But when I was younger, y'all, I hated the summer. I mean, not really hated, hated, because when I was younger, because you had summer vacation, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I didn't necessarily like it because you would, like, sweat a lot. And I would wear more makeup 
then than I do now. So, you know, I hated to sweat. I hated to do my makeup and sweat. Um, I just kind of like loved fall way more because of the outfits and the weather. And I want to say like the holiday season. But like now at my age, Beach, I don't know, comment down below. It was the same for you. But I, I don't really care for the winter as much of anything i feel like i get like literally seasonal depression so for like the winter i feel like i'm like a, a flower during the cold months i i die you know what i'm saying like I, i'm gone and then once spring comes like i come back to life and during summer it's like my time to shine and i just love it outside right now it's super warm you could hear the birds i don't know if you guys can hear the birds oh i don't know if you guys can tell i did add a little bit of um a tiny little bit of blush on my face because i'm already sunburned like look at my nose i did not add all of that blush on my nose i went out to eat some tacos and it was delicious it was here in atlanta y que era, se llamaba el tesoro way bro it was packed I'm talking about the line hit the sidewalk. We got in there and we ordered una tostada de tinga, tacos, we ordered agua fresca, we ordered tostones with avocado dip, and it was delicious. It was an outside restaurant. So I was literally in the sun getting hit by sun for like, I wanna say maybe 30, 40 minutes, and it burned my face. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm gonna need for a fact, for a fact, son dos ollas. I feel like my pots are kind of tiny or maybe I might be overcooking food, but I'm gonna be cooking food for uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, <clears throat> maybe seven people, beach. So, you know, I feel like my pots are a tad small. Okay, and then I have so many pots and I don't even cook. Can you believe that? Dude, I am such a liar, stop playing. I told my hubby, I'm like, baby, tomorrow, for a fact, without a doubt, I would have this done for lunch. And like, okay, that's on. it's 11.30 and here I am still talking to you about it. Let me rinse this off super quick because I got like this thing, I don't know about you guys, but I got this thing that if they sit for too long, even if they're clean and even if in their, they're in a drawer that hasn't been opened in like centuries, I feel like dirtiness gets into them. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna rinse these out super quick just so that if there's any dust or skin cells because people say that dust are skin cells we're not eating human beings should i get another one out i don't even know why i have so many pots and pans see uno ni los usa way oh i got a brand new one i don't even know where this came from and before you guys start si los limpie I definitely cleaned them, make sure that there was like no rocks or like old, dirty, hard little beans. Los limpia, bitch. That's one thing I remember because when I was younger and my mom would cook beans, that was my job. I know. Los voy a quemar, wey. Los voy a echar agua. Hold on. Mis beans. And that's not even enough water. Can you imagine? Oh my God. I'm just all over the place right now. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this off because that's not even enough water. Beach, yo creo que I look like swollen almost. I don't know if it's me, but I went to the bathroom super quick and I looked myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, like I look a little, a tad swollen. Like I think my eyes look swollen, but I don't even know. So I got out my chicken because I'm about to boil it. And I also got out some huevitos right here, some eggs. I'm going to boil them. And then once they're ready, I'm going to slice them up and I'm going to put it as a topping on top of my frijoladas. Okay. All right. ¿Qué es eso? Se me medio raro. It has something in it. What the hell is that? Wait, wait, wait. Aquí está. Si lo ves, mira. ¿Ves eso? That's on the inside. Pero se ve como que maybe something se metió allá adentro. You guys see it? I don't even know. I don't cook often enough to really know if something's wrong. Like, for example, like some other person that might have more experience would look at this and maybe be like, oh, that's bad. That chicken's bad. Let me throw that out. You see what I'm saying? Me, I'll be like, maybe that's how the chicken comes. And I'm just going to like cook it. And someone's going to eat it. You know? So I hope there's nothing bad with it. Damn, here comes another problem. Because I can't boil it with this. 
Wait, dude, one time? <laughs> I'm gonna out some people. <laughs> one time when we, when we were like recently here from Mexico, we actually stayed with my uncle and his wife, you know, at their house because we had nothing, bitch. We had just came from Mexico. So we were eating chicken soup, bitch. We were eating chicken soup that his wife had made for us. And her, one of her daughters actually got this they got like a little this thing or like pieces of it. I don't really know exactly what happened. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember it. But I remember her taking something out of her soup and being like, ew. And like they said some stuff because obviously like, you know, they were young and in America. So they usually tend to speak more English than anything. And most at the time I didn't know English. All I knew was Spanish. But I know that basically this had ended up being cooked in the soup with the rest of the stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but like, I'm pretty sure she's not the only one that it's happened to. Bitch. Ah! Okay, I'm effing done. I'm done. Something's going on. It's wrong today. They're chicken thighs. It's not supposed to be chicken thighs. It's supposed to be chicken breast. Uh, I didn't pay close enough attention and I ended up getting chicken thighs, but I was supposed to be chicken breast. I'm upset. Maybe you just need to relax a little bit and like just go with the flow and let things go and stop blaming the damn eclipse for all your problems. Nine, 10 eggs. We're gonna boil 10 eggs. My cats came back inside from playing outside because I, I'm assuming they got bored of being out there. And I've just got to keep my eyes open because they love to be nosy. Like, they genuinely love that shit. This is a weird thing with my damn stove. I don't know if you guys are the same or is it just because I don't cook often. But the thing here is, is that my stove is not, like, proportionate. And I hate that. Look, I feel like this thing is so big that it takes over this other, like, burner. And, like, I can't cook nothing there. Whether or not I want to, I can't cook anything there because there's no space. And I absolutely hate that. I wish that the damn stove would be bigger. I feel like this might not be good, Beach. I feel like it's not, it's probably molded. It's not a good color. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not really a good color. It looks bruised. I'm gonna have to do like a little taste test to make sure that it don't like taste funky or anything. Oh, you know, que feo. what my mind has been blown and i feel like i literally just traveled back years years we went to a flea market that same day that we went to go out to eat to um el tesoro the the mexican place with the bomb ass tacos and um there's a lot of like hispanic people and hispanic stuff there so i was hoping to find nunches I went to little posts that were selling like antojitos and fruits and stuff like that. And I'm like, hi, like eating nanches. And I swear to God, nobody knew what nanches are. Please comment down below without looking it up right now. Do you know what nanches are? Ask your mom, does she know what nanches are? Because I swear to you, I felt crazy. I really did. I was asking like these older like Hispanic people. I'm like, disculpen, tienen nanches? And they're like, que? And I'm like, nanches. And I swear to you, one guy was like, nachos? Tengo nachos. I'm like, no, nanches. And like, he was like, no, 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 tengo eso. And I'm just like, why? I thought it was crazy to the fact that I literally like looked at my husband and I'm like, I must be saying this wrong. There's no way that I'm saying this right and nobody knows what I'm talking about. So I look it up on Google, right? And I'm like, what is nanches? And it came up, sis. The nanches that I was looking for came up. So I just don't know if like not a lot of people know about nanches. If maybe it was a thing that might have just been like around where we were. I don't know if you guys see that. I don't know if I should be using this. It's like dark and like fuzzy and stuff. But it tasted pretty effing good. So I don't know if I should just like cut that part out. Can you guys see that? Look at that. So I don't know if I should just cut that part out and still make the water with it or like just let it go because maybe the water will have like a certain little flavor to it you know that flavor where like something's kind of like rotten but i don't know it's crazy bitch because i i like rotten fruit 
Now, now, not like rotten to the point where it has mold and stuff like that. When a strawberry gets soggy and like really, really wet, I really enjoy strawberries like that. I don't know why. Or when like a, a pineapple is kind of like fermented already, like you had it in your fridge for too long. When bananas get like really dark, I love bananas like that because I feel like they get, it's at their sweetest. You know, when they get like, like uh, really old and rotten almost or like really, really ripe, like they get sweet as hell. So I don't know, but my husband don't like that. Like my husband has actually seen me like eat like rotten bananas and he's like, that's disgusting. <laughs> like you're disgusting for that. I don't know why the hell you're doing that. Pero sabe bien rico, wey. It's so effing good, it's so sweet. Is that a little nasty? Comment down below. Is that a little nasty for the cook to be kind of like eating? Obviously not like, you know, but like kind of like sampling things. Is that kind of nasty? <laughs> No te atrevas, eh? Estoy viendo. My cats are like roaming around. Like they're literally making circles around the island at the bottom. She's smart enough to know whether my husband wants to believe it or not. But she knows that when I'm cooking, she's not allowed up here. Now, whether or not she actually listens and pays attention to what I want done, that's a whole other thing. Because I spank my cats. I don't know about you guys, but I just spank my cats. And obviously, it's not like in a hard ass, like, oh, boom, boom. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, I grab them by the tummy, I, I kind of, like, lift them up, put them close to me, and I'm like, pow, pow, pow. Like, no, no. You see what I'm saying? So that they know. And, like, I know my husband's like, they're cats. They're not going to understand. See, you want to understand. They're definitely going to understand. Trust and believe she's going to understand. I feel like I might just be a little too old school. Maybe I'm, like, an old soul or whatever. Because I know people nowadays believe in, like, not really spanking your kids. Pero no sé, wey, like, comment down below. Pero yo creo que yo sí. Yo sí voy a pegar manitas y pegar en cheeks. You see what I'm saying? Así, o sea, leve. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. But, like, para que entiendas. Y and I'm gonna tell you por qué te pegué. You see what I'm saying? I don't know how my husband feels about that. But then again, I feel like my husband is very, like, um, soft-hearted. Even with the cats, I can already tell. I can already tell how he's gonna be as a dad just because of how he treats the cats. These cats get away with everything around him. Keep that in mind, Peach. And me and my um, my suegra, me and his mom, we spank. Okay, so these are the beans right here. According to the ladies, you wanna make sure that the beans cook for like at least an hour before you throw in anything. No salt, no seasonings, no onions, no garlic, none of that. So I put my chicken right here i don't know if this is sanitary or not because i i want to put it right next to the the um the fire so that it can thaw out and i can go ahead and like boil it so let me know down in the comments sis you know if you see me do something wrong let me know so that i can fix it i can learn from it so i already have my sapote my mame and then my orange right here and it's not a lot porque no es jugo it's not gonna be juice this is just water you know agua fresca so i was grocery shopping right and it was packed ish so i was looking at the onions i'm over here like oh pues you know how many do i need and yes i know that i'm not supposed to be like at the onions figuring out my life problems and stuff you know, I don't think I was taking a long time. So these two ladies come and like, se meten, wey. Se meten. I'm over here like, a ver. Okay, there's onions. There's white onions, yellow onions. I think I'm going to take, you know what I'm saying? And these ladies come and they're just like, like, muevete. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, damn, like people do this. You know, I feel like the grocery store is for everyone. We should share it. It's a shared space. And like right now, con todo lo que hay with like enfermedades and shit, I just don't understand why people can't just like wait a second let me get my stuff and leave bitch that's what i usually do i'm not even gonna lie to you whenever i see someone somewhere and this doesn't this does not only happen at the grocery store i could be at target i could be at marshall's and it tends to happen it tends to happen where people just don't care there's no like common courtesy anymore so like i just grabbed two onions and i left now the thing is is that prior to that i had seen them i saw these two ladies at like there's like this um dry section where you can get like nuts or like beans and you put them in bags and stuff right and like i wanted some pistachios so i saw them around that area and it was it was two ladies and like their car and like a baby 
so i'm like okay i see you over there i'm not going to like go and breathe down your neck i'm gonna go get something else and i'll be right back and hopefully by then you're done like you're gone from that section so that i can now go and take a turn almost like a gym area does that make sense it's almost like a gym area where like you wait for someone to be done with the machine and then you go after they're done and then you do your thing and then someone else waits for you right no i was at the onion section and i see these two ladies that i had already pri like previously saw and i gave them the time for them to choose what they wanted from the dry section and then they come and they see me right there right and i'll keep in mind beach that it's just me my husband is there and i do have a cart but i tell my husband on my like, baby stay here in this little aisle so that you're not in the way of anyone trying to get by just stay on your phone take care of the car i'm gonna go over there and like get the things that i need you know what i'm saying because i feel like that's the thing with cards too i feel like if people have cards and like they don't really care some people says literally bring their cards park it right next to the produce section and like they're there just taking the longest to choose something and they're blocking the entire thing and i'm like why do people do that and then there's other people that literally see you walking there's people where like you like you walk towards them you kind of slow down so that they have the time to like move their car out of the way or like you know whatever it, it needs to be done there's people that will look you straight in the eye with their car halfway blocking the entire damn aisle and they'll go right back to what they were doing like you don't see me coming ma'am uh, dude eso me pasó one time in sprouts you know not señora ya grande <sighs> cuando te digo i'm not the type of person to like pick fights with no one trust and believe i'm not i keep a lot of things inside so like i think a lot and my emotions are all like all inside but me daban unas ganas like i kid you not i just had this feeling of like grabbing the señora y darle unos pinches madrazos like señora señora me está viendo like you saw me señor me vio you know you saw me coming i slowed down for you i smiled at you let you know that i'm friendly i come in peace and you did nothing you did nothing and on top of that like your car is blocking the damn way like what do you want me to do turn around and leave that's exactly what I did, sis. I don't know. I think it's weird sometimes because I feel like if you see me coming and then I literally have to stop right in front of your car and be like, excuse me, it seems kind of weird. It seems kind of rude. And I'm the type of person where I hate awkward situations. I want to avoid them at all costs. So this is the thing though, right? Like I know that there's like a grocery pickup and like grocery deliver, but I don't like it. I know that it seems like I'm complaining a lot right now to you guys, but I don't like it. I feel like people that do your groceries, I don't really, I guess, care. Was obviously, why would they care, right? It's not for them. Um, but I realized that people that do your groceries kind of don't care because I remember one time I, I got talked into it because Lisa, like, you know, my, my mother-in-law, she likes to place orders and it gets them delivered here. And one time I was like, okay, cool. Get me some white peas, get me some bananas. I'm just going to try it out. Right. And my bananas get here and they're green. They're green as an effing leaf. And I'm just like, who the hell is going to eat these? I'm going to wait like a whole week to eat these damn bananas when i know damn well i could have gone into it i could have gone and gotten better bananas you know so i'm like i'm never gonna do that again never never gonna do that again i feel like some people are just not as considerate as others <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh wait so am i not supposed to cover the beans no <laughs> Finally, I got my chicken to get on thawed and here it is with some water and it's about to boil and I believe my eggs are done says I have no way of knowing if these eggs are actually done but they have been cooking for I want to say 30 minutes I'm gonna put an onion in there some bay leaves pepper porque pues why not I forgot my garlic I'm over here trying to peel my garlic and like I see outside because my cats are outside and I like to keep an eye on them while I cook and stuff since they're outside um, because there's hawks outside, right? And like my husband has told me that the hawks aren't like big enough or strong enough to like carry away my cat, but I, I still kind of like to keep an eye on them, right? 
and then I see that a damn bird like flies underneath my, my porch cover because there's a cover on the porch. She, he, he flies underneath and I'm like, what the hell? And then he comes again and I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm like, where is this bird? What is it doing? My cats are like low to the ground. I think they might feel a little bit attacked and I don't like that. <laughs> I love the birds, you know what I'm saying? And I will always try to stop my cats from like hurting the birdies but i don't want the birdies to hurt my cats either and this is the thing though this is the thing right so i'm over here like allowing the birds to have a nest because i feel like it's it's like good luck and like obviously because you want to let nature live because who are we right who are we to say that another like being can't live somewhere just because we think we own it i have let the birds have a nest underneath our porch whether or not people okay i don't know i hear weird things and then like you know i have to go and check because my cats could do anything and everything they want to do so i need to keep an eye on these cats anyways so i let them keep the damn nest underneath the porch right and we have water outside of our house which isn't like a little trash can the birds go in there and like like take baths or like they drink and stuff and so there's a lot of birds around our house a lot of mosquitoes and bugs because i feel like we've let that water stay there now i think the damn birds think that this house belongs to them so whenever i let my cats outside because the nest is right underneath my porch they're able to see it through the cracks of the porch floor the birds get so angry sis and the birds have uh, they have huevitos way huevitos huevitos they say i have little lights that string on my porch you know and they come they 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 fly and they fly and they they flap their wings and then they just like stand there on the little the little cables of lights and they just look and like my cats can be right there and the birds give zero f's like these birds honestly they're like a different breed of birds dude talking about hawks i think it's because we live in georgia right but one time my husband and i were outside of chipotle and uh, we were eating a little chipotle bowl and we had our sunroof open from the car so the sunroof was open and we were underneath like these like street lamps but it was daylight you know i look up and i see there's a hawk up there like through the sunroof i'm like oh my god i'm like oh my god there's a hawk up there baby and like he looks up and like once he looks up i be in an otro pinche hawk like another hawk and it, it came <laughs> it came right on top of her i'm assuming it was a her because if you would have seen it you would have probably also thought it was a her but the male hawk came right on top of the female hawk and like it was like such like a, a quick little thing like literally seconds and it left right and the female hawk still stayed there and everything and you already know mis pendejadas right so like i like to to look into everything <laughs> like almost like if everything had a damn meaning so i looked into it i'm like what does it mean <laughs> spiritually <laughs> stupid <laughs> to 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 witness uh, a hawk mating <laughs> and supposedly it says the hawks are monogamous creatures beach so whether or not you guys know this now you know eduquense so like you know they find their mate and they stay with them for life so that's kind of cool in my opinion and i'm like ah when I stir the beans, I feel like there's something at the bottom. Como que se está pegando. And it's making me feel really uneasy, very nervous. Porque pues, you guys know that que en frijoladas are basically just a bean sauce. Meaning that if the beans burn, I can't make en frijoladas and everything goes to poop. Does that make sense? So a mis beans, les voy a echar aquí. Los garlics, pues yo creo que sí, verdad? I don't really know, pero pues let's just go ahead and do it. And I'm also going to add half an onion. Oh, I feel like that might need more water, but I'm not really sure. So I'm not gonna add too much salt either because I am gonna season it later. So nada más poquitito, poquitito y ya. I don't know if it was this or rice, pero I remember my mom would add un chile jalapeño. Go ask your mom, bitch. Go ask your mom for me and comment down below. ¿A qué se le echa el chile jalapeño? ¿Al arroz, a los frijoles o a los dos? 
Ooh, you know what I remember, Beach? Ay, se me pasó. I should have definitely done that to like go the extra mile. But I remember the beans my mom used to cook. She used to make them with um with pig skin. But the chicharron that has meat, you know what I'm saying? I remember when I was younger and I saw them in the bean soup because we would eat bean soup and it had el chicharron, you know, and the chicharron would get like really like squishy and almost kind of like feel and look slimy, but it had meat on it, right? And I, I got really scared of it and I remember it was my uncle, I want to say, I'm not really sure, but somebody told me que eran frogs. So I believed it. I believed it and I remember I hated it. I hated it when she would make bean soup. Obviously like we moved here and like I grew up and I ended up like realizing that it wasn't frogs. It was actually um, pig skin that we were eating. And then once I realized it was pig skin and like I really like tried it and stuff, it was delicious. I loved it. Beach, my effing heart just sunk to my stomach because I was cleaning up, right? And like I look away for a second and I realized that the only cat outside is Luna, so I'm missing a cat. And I'm over here like walking around my house. I'm like, yee yees, yee yees. And I have the door to my basement open because they love to go down there too and roam and stuff. And I like to give them like as much room as I can. So I'm over here looking for this little brat. I'm walking in the dining room, in the kitchen, in the living room. I show my head in the in the basement. There she is and goes. There she goes. And I'm like, yee. And like, dude, she's nowhere to be found. And like the last time I seen her, she was outside. And remember I just told you that I saw a damn hawk outside? Okay. And then I, I, I turn around and she's literally sitting by the by, by a little wall just looking at me. I'm calling her, calling her repeatedly. And she's just looking at me. I'm just like, keep the mother away. You know, like, damn, like, I don't understand, but my cats are just so rude. Like, how am I calling you repeatedly and you're just watching me call you? Like, come on, dude, like, make yourself known. Say something. Meow, come out. I wanted to smack her. I ain't gonna lie. She scared the shit out of me, bitch. Dude, I don't know. I don't remember, and I don't think I heard on the tutorial, if beans are one of the things that you have to continuously move. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like there were them dishes that I remember like when my mom was cooking, there was always someone else like me or my sister literally right there on top of the damn pot, just like moving it, moving it, moving it. Cause like you can't like just let it sit or it'll burn. But I don't remember if the beans were part of that category. So I'm gonna use one of these, one of these. Oh snap, and one of these. I don't know the name of them, so no me pregunten. Okay, so I'm going to make my water. I have my blender and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. Quedó pero delicioso! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I'm like really happy when something goes my way. I get really happy. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, you pendeja! <laughs> Look! Oh my god! Ah! I'm under a lot of stress right now. Mira. Look what I saw. Look, look, look. I need, to, I need to show you. I need to show you. I need to show you. Dude. See this eso? What does it look like? I thought it was some type of damn rat. <gasps> no! Okay, so these are the beans. Okay, it smells like beans. They look like beans. And I actually tasted them and they tasted like beans. <laughs> and look, 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 hold on. My hands are clean, by the way. They're clean. They're nice and soft. You see that? Mmm, it definitely needs more seasoning because I didn't really season it with salt or anything like that. Pero pues si sabe a frijol, wey. Si sabe. Excuse me. Damn, get out the way, sis. Como vienes over here to my house y no haces nada? And on top of that, you're in the way. I've seen hacks and all of that about, you know, how to peel eggs and things. Pero pues, uh, you, you can never really know if a hack is really gonna work or if people are just BSing you. But like nowadays, people are just BSing you about everything and anything and it doesn't really work. 
just look at my microwave it exploded right next to me and like that's just because i'm trying to follow a tiktok video and then when i put it on social media everybody came at me like that's what you get for listening to tiktok so i'm just trying to learn bro like that's all i'm trying to do i'm trying to learn something new i like like an egg when it's nice and boiled and like uh i see you know because it's not like hard hard it's like still like i don't know what it is can i rinse these because i feel like there's little like stuff from the the egg shell the shell of the egg there's stuff on it and i can feel it it's like uh like sandy you know i'm gonna do it this time but if i can't do it let me know that in the comments for next time you know it's gonna be ah, you, you scared the fuck out of me i don't even know if they were able to see it honestly i think it was like out of the camera vente para acá wey vente para acá para que te pongas a cocinar conmigo Okay, so I'm gonna put el chilito aquí adentro and we're gonna like fry it. Cuatro cloves, cloves. Okay, we're gonna put some onion in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ya huele! Ya huele! I wish you guys, literally, there's a chile. It's a chilito aquí like frying. Ooh, snap, ooh, snap. Um, it's a chilito frying. Literally makes this house smell like a, a Mexican home, dude. I'm gonna try to Oh, so the one more garlic! <laughs> I already peeled it, might as well, right? That's too much, that's too much, that's too much. I don't think a chile needs to be fried too, too much because it already changed colors. And then I'm just gonna fry the rest. I'm gonna fry the garlic and the onions so they're nice and like dark. Ay, wey, no me vas a creer lo que pasó. Mira, I'm over here, um, I was filling this up with water para hacerme un drink. Y esto estaba prendido, wey. Eso estaba prendido, which is this one, right? Pero me quedo viéndolo because it's not really cooking. I'm like, what's going on? And I take a look underneath. Y está apagado. Pero estaba prendido. Meaning that there's gas being released. <gasps> Ay, wey. Honestly, I'm scared. I don't know if I should be turning this on or not. Like, I, I kid you not. Me dio ganas hasta de vomitar. Like, I really did feel like I was going to throw up. That would have been a terrible, terrible accident. Las voy a quemar o las quiero quemar. No sé si las pueden ver. But I do want to kind of burn them a little bit. And it's just because when I used to work at a restaurant, I worked at a, at a Mediterranean restaurant. And I remember we used to make the sauces and things, right? And the guy would have us, the owner would have us burn like the onions. Not too, too burn, but like make them look brown, like really deep brown. And then they would blend it and make a delicious like eggplant dip with it and it tastes so amazing So me dio ganas to burn them. I'm like, ah, yeah, I think I'm gonna like caramelize them to the point where they're like a little burnt To see if it gives it like a really nice flavor. Maybe like a smoky flavor. I don't really know So I bought this I want to say maybe last year when I was cooking if not last year two years ago and I bought it because I don't really cook often so I didn't really think that I needed like a ninja or like a high grade blender so I bought this oyster that I think was like $20 or 30 max I struggle with this damn blender so much it's insane like I want to throw it out the window sometimes so we're going to put all of this in here oh it huele delicioso babe there's something that I fucking love is onions like cooked onions yo me acuerdo Beach. Yo me acuerdo when I was younger and I was living at my parents' house. Um, sometimes you know, like for snacks and stuff, because like all my mom did was cook and clean. So sometimes for snacks, she will get some onions, los así así, and like little, like tiny little fine, little like raquitas like this, like tiny little things like that. And she will cook a bunch of them, right? A bunch of them until they were not burnt, but like golden brown, nice and soft, with just a little bit of crunch to it, right? And then we would have tortillitas, you know, tortillitas. And then we would put queso fresco on top. And that was like a, such a delicious, and my mouth is watering, bitch. Watering, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just seasoning the sauce with saliva. Um, you know, and that would be like our little snack. Oh, God, I was tubby back in the day. Okay, so I'm gonna do some cumin seeds. I don't have a recipe, remember that. Very well that I said that. So I'm just gonna use a little bit because I remember one time, I made, no sé qué hice, qué hice, qué hice, hice al pastor, I, I, I made al pastor meat, and I used so much seasoning, it's insane, it's almost like I thought 
the more seasonings the better i put so much stuff in that shit to the point where i think i overdid it and i gave people diarrhea people were in my bathroom blowing it up le voy a echar un poquito de oregano but this one's oregano already finely um grinded or whatever the hell Ooh, huele delicioso huele delicioso ya quisieras estar tú aquí <laughs> okay okay and i'm gonna get queso okay, queso okay. onion powder because i know i do have onions in there but i just i like the powder even though i do put onions e garlic powder and none of this is salted because we're gonna add our own salt poquito de garlic powder oh and chile ancho smells delicious poquitito de chile ancho oh my god beach i'm hungry i feel like it's bound for someone to get diarrhea <laughs> i'm just putting a lot of damn um seasonings and shit okay poquito poquito no mucho no mucho so i'm gonna put a little bit of smoked paprika in there so i'm gonna add a little bit of poultry seasoning to like give it a nice little like addition you know what i'm saying poquito poquito y ya ya un poquito a ver is that enough that might not be quite enough okay that's all chicken proof the vapor from the chicken broth that i put in here and then when i um i turned it on say um the top was gonna blow up the top was gonna go everywhere dude my karma must be like on point right now like karma must love me right now because if i wouldn't have put my hand on it i would have been covered covered in chile sauce right now y pues vamos a fry the sauce Yo, mira. Oh, mira. I don't know if you guys realize, pero está más dark. Está más, I don't know. Ay, wey, si se ve feo. No se ve feo, no se ve feo. Pero it looks different outside. Déjame te, te llevo a ver, a conocer aquí afuera mi patio. Don't criticize it porque no, it's not clean. You know what I'm saying? It's not like aesthetically pleasing. No sé, wey, no sé. But I feel like in person, in person, it definitely looks weird. No más se oyen los perros. Ay, wow, wow. Wow, yo creo que it might just be because we know that there's an eclipse going on and stuff, pero como que the energy, it's weird. You know, the it's weird. It's a tad weird. Wait, yo no encuentro a mi gatita, wey. Tengo dos y no encuentro a una. Oh, okay. Okay, I found her. She was outside, but like I was looking out there and I, I couldn't even see her. Okay, aquí tenemos los beans. Vámonos. See, Ojin? Can you guys hear? The dogs are going crazy. Si están oyendo, wey? I know. It's because things like this da hasta, hasta miedo da, wey. Da miedo. Y ya se callaron, pendejos. Yo que I was coming to fucking show you guys y que se callan. No sé if you can't if you guys can't hear that or what, but there's literally dogs going wild. I don't know if this is true or not, right? Porque my my mother-in-law told us that supposedly in the news they were saying that people should not go out today at all because of the eclipse, right? But this is the thing. I feel like the news be over exaggerating shit sometimes. So like I don't really believe them sometimes. Like you know like what to do and stuff. I think they're just weird. Um, 
Pero estaban diciendo, don't go out on today because of the eclipse, right? Y I was gonna do the video yesterday. I was gonna do this video yesterday. So I wanted to go out and be out and about during the eclipse. Obviously not look up at it because that's stupid. But just to see what the vibe was, just to see what, pe what, what we, people were doing, you know? And maybe do like a little tiny little video for you guys. In no way. How things play out in life is fucking crazy because I ended up, because of anxiety, not doing the video yesterday and have in mind that it was planned. And instead, I did it today on the day that people are saying, don't go out. Is it me or is that weird? Good morning, me, baby. Good afternoon. It's dark, right? Or is it me? Yeah, it's like it has, it's like like the sun has sunglasses on you guys you guys heard all them dogs barking no you guys didn't hear all them dogs barking no. just a minute ago no. really? I yeah i think i hopefully i got it on film but i thought it was weird i've been feeling a little weird i'm gonna lie taste this i want you to taste this come taste this super quick you deem it honestly what you think it's collagen drink con agua fresca i dig it you like it for real for real i dig it it's because I feel like you won't tell me the truth. I feel like if you kind of don't like it, you won't be like, oh, I don't like it. Uh, well, sorry to tell you, but I like it. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's agua fresca, usé el mamey. Ah. El mamey and an orange. Mm -hmm. And I, I made agua fresca and you're going to eat it al ratito con la comida. Because <laughs> I, I told you, baby, I'm fucking wife material. I'm trying to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> Mira, mi amor, I got you. I got you everywhere. Because not even when you're asleep upstairs are you gonna be away from me. <laughs> and you see it? I see it. Burn them? Ah! <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think it was gonna burn. My plantains burned. I'm upset. They're supposed to look like this color. <laughs> this is the color that they actually look. I'm toasting my tortillas and I know that you can fry them, but I don't want so much oil, sis. So I'm gonna toast mine and I feel like that will keep them from breaking once we make the enfrijoladas. I got my chicken right here. Ah, beach, that's just hot. Oh my God. Stop. Okay. I got my chicken right here. I got my beans right here. I got some avocado, some cheese. I got the tortillas, the eggs, the, the um, the crema right here. Okay, let's start doing this. Porque ya me cansé. I'm ready to eat. I'm tired. I'm done. Yes, I already know that I'm dipping my hands and like, <laughs> you know, I'm dipping my hands in the cheese and my hands are dirty with with um beans. But trust me, I'm not gonna use that cheese again. My mouth is salivating, so I'm trying to talk like from a distance so that no type of like um saliva gets in there. <laughs> no more than already has been in there. It's hot, but I'm starving. Okay, and then the pepper jack cheese adentro. And then we're gonna put cheese on the outside too. And they're gonna be nice and fat. That's why I only did three, okay? Hold on, this is gonna be like the dirtiest plate because you know, I just, I don't know. It's gonna be super dirty. Put a little more of bean sauce on top. God damn. Just in case, you know, if they don't get diarrhea, they're definitely gonna get diarrhea now. You know what I'm saying? It's because they gotta be kind of like, pues si no te lo comes, pues no te lo comes, but they can't be dry. My hands are super clean though. Even though they look really ugly right now, yeah, they're clean as hell. Really raggedy. Yeah, mm -hmm. they look really raggedy. And it's not gonna look fancy or pretty like in a Mexican restaurant beach, porque pues I don't know how to do that. Follow me. I got my platanitos over here. And even though they are burnt, I'm gonna give them the best ones. Amonos. Ay! And these are, damn, they look pretty ugly. They look really ugly, baby. Well, how do they look online? Because, I mean, it's like enchiladas. They usually look like top tier, like really well put together. And I'm over here with like dirty ass fingernails. What that? That's what I'm saying. It don't even look appealing, baby. It looks disgusting. Oh, he's wait. Do you guys like end up like this after you cook? Or am I the only fucking duck that ends up like so like, like, you know? Could you imagine going to a restaurant and like the waiter, like waiters, waitress like serves you your food at sea? I see people. When, well, like, would you cook it, Nate? Like, why is your hand like <laughs> Beach, tell me why I bought meat for, like, six people. Y yo creo que no va a dar para seis people, bitch. It's not that much meat. 
pues ni modos, la van a tener que comer sin pollo. <laughs> sin pollo, just cheese. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, agárrate un, un um, fork que está allá adentro. Okay, and don't come for my tortillas. I know that they are flour tortillas, but they sit really well on us. Sí, me gustó. Pues a ver si te gusta, mi amor, because I know they're probably a little cold. Dude, I don't know how is it that Mexican restaurants are able to take, like, get everything warm. Like, they probably just, I don't know. I didn't really want to microwave my stuff. But I feel like it's hard. It's hard because there's like layers, layers to things. Que la salsa, que el pollo, que las tortillas, que the plantains, los huevos. And like, how do you keep all of this warm? I don't understand. Help me out, bitch. Comment down below. How do you keep things warm? Warm. Warm. No es cierto, mi amor. No te gustan. Mm. No te gustan. What the heck? Is it cold? It ain't cold, but it ain't like warm. Oh, mi amor. I don't know. I think this is a major fail, honestly. I think. Mm -hmm. Dude, I swear to God, you guys didn't see her do that once. Not once while I was by myself, did you? No. He gets here and she thinks she can do everything and anything her little heart desires. <laughs> Te voy por tu madre. Bebé, ¿te gustaron o no te gustaron? Me gustaron. No digas mentiras. Be, be, no me gustaron. Yo no, sé que no te gustaron. Is that what you wanted to hear? I think this was a major fail, to be very honest. I think, I, think I, I tried to do too much than I actually could have done. Remember I told you I was going to make arroz con leche? Mm. On that arroz con leche, way. You did say that. I did say a lot. I said a lot of things. A lot of things. But, pues, no. No dio. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love him. He's really trying to emphasize how good mm. it is. Mm. At this point, I know you're lying. <laughs> I know it's you're lying. How, how is there nothing wrong with it? How dirty is your plate right now? It's pretty dirty. <laughs> it's really fucking dirty. I could not work at a five-star uh, restaurant, bitch, because there'd be fingerprints everywhere. There's beans everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I, I want to taste it, bitch. I want to taste it for y'all before I do my, my suegras. It's because my suegras are, like, with different, with different, um... It's because your suegra? Tortillas. She's definitely cold and stuff. <laughs> Hers are corn tortillas, because I know for a fact she probably wouldn't like these. Hold on. Ah, pero yo sí voy a ponerle crema a mis tacos, mis enchiladas. Yo sí le voy a poner crema, güey. Oh, y queso. No, Why the hell did the cheese go all the way over there? I don't like that you're behind me. Go, 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 go. Un poquito de crema. And this crema I actually made with sour cream. I put paprika on it and uh, pepper and some Eureka. salt. So, me voy a echar un montón de crema a mis tacos because me, I love crema on my sheet. Hasta hambre me está dando. Beach, I'm starting to think that cooking at home is just, <laughs> it's not the payoff that you think it is, you know? Because have you seen my kitchen? My kitchen looks disgusting right now, sis. Okay, pero yo sí. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo le hago? These are hard. How the fuck you cut these? <laughs> the tortillas are hard! <laughs> I'm like this. Okay, okay, okay. Ahí estamos. Ooh, a little bit of egg right on it. The egg is cold as fucking a cold person's body. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. This shit looks like trash. Look at it. Shit. It looks like trash. Look at that. It looks like a two-year-old made this, but it don't taste like trash. It actually tastes pretty good, in my humble opinion. Don't lie. I don't know, but all I'm saying is I put so much sauce on this plate, and that sauce is going everywhere. Dude, all I'm saying is, is that <laughs> if I go to my friend's house, and this bitch really gives me a plate like this, I'm not eating it. <laughs> I'm not eating it. But I'd be playing myself because it actually tastes pretty effing good. Mm. Mm. Cheers, agua. Esta es tu agüita, mi amor. Mmm. Mmm. 
I know my suegra is probably starving right now. <laughs> but I was out, oh, the bitch is hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna make her, I'm gonna make her play too. Go to the lilies! <laughs> my cats are like, just roaming like little vultures. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> because I feel like that plate was like, it looks disgusting. <laughs> but it's pretty good. It, it don't look bad. I, I do wish that I was able to keep it warm because it's actually on the really cold side. It's pretty cold. But I enjoyed it. I feel like I kind of killed it. Not a lot, just kind of. You know, my skills are kind of getting up there. A bitch is tired. <laughs> so this is the end of this video. If you guys like the video, like the video. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe and comment down below. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? How do you keep food warm? Let me know. I love you guys! You're not gonna say nothing? Hold on. You want, you, you want me to make my cats meow? Hold on. No, no, no. Don't make them meow. Why? Leave them alone. They're, yeah. gonna, attack, they're gonna attack your food. Eh? Okay, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Let me go ahead and feed my suegra. Cause she's been waiting for this just as much as we have. She's been coming in and out her room just trying to make sure the food ain't like, ready, not ready. What's going on? Never left. <laughs> She's there? She's been there the whole time. Oh my god, I feel so bad, dude. She's literally on the stairs. She's on the stairs just sitting there just watching Alex eat, hearing me munch on this. this trust me, girl. It don't look pretty, but it tastes pretty okay. So here I have my suegra, you know what I'm saying, la güera de la casa. <laughs> and, she's about to, and she's about to taste it. Um, just keep in mind that I haven't cooked in like, I think a year. <laughs> Very long time. <laughs> Very long time. Okay. So I know it's not birria, but she's been waiting for this moment for her entire life. That's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yay! I passed the test, beach because mm. all it is is beans. <laughs> it's beans. This is the poor people's enchilada right here. But yeah, it's it definitely. Let me taste. It definitely tastes healthier than it's, like some greasy mm. stuff. Dude, it really is good. I think this plate right here is ninety percent organic. Really? Damn. This entire plate right here is ninety percent organic. White. White sauce. Literally from the from the crema to the cheese, the tortillas that she's eating. What's this white stuff? Sour so this cream. right here is uh, sour cream because I didn't want to make Mexican crema because mm -hmm. that's not organic. So this oh. is sour cream with just a little bit of salt and paprika. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Cause I was gonna say, what's that red stuff? Mm -hmm. She's about to jump. <laughs> You scared her. Yes. This so is really good. Is organic, you know what I'm saying? Olive oil right here. You know what I'm saying? You, you, oh. No canola oil up in this house. Wow. Yes. And it really is good. Yay! Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys in the next video. Woo! All right, mom. Off camera. What do you think? Off camera. Be honest. Be honest. I need salt. Are you hot? Oh, I got you on kill. Oh. Oh. So look, she look. was faker <laughs> than look, fake. Look. No, She's no, right. No. And it's all. Mm -hmm. Damn. She's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's right because I even told you guys I did not want to over the salt. I'd rather people put salt afterwards mm -hmm. if they think it needed salt rather than them be like, it's salty. Damn. You know? No. I got you, sis. I got you. It's delicious. It just needs a little salt. You I know got what I'm you. Look. Himalayan, sis. <laughs> Himalayan. Oh. Hey. And the lava. The juice. Mm -hmm. She says it tastes like cantaloupe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, it's orange like it too, and mm -hmm. it really does mm -hmm. taste like it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. delicious. I like the juice too. You like I could drink that every day. Yay! I like it.